fight. Fight, men. Attack these savages. survivors. I said no survivors. Die, you jackass. Dutch Marston. He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him. Don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. Uh, I don't like medals. Return for the doctor guy, whatever he is. At home with Dutch. I surely hope not. Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day, good day. How are you? Fantastic. Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, okay. the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, yeah, see? Uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple. Uh, pure. Uh, I am I pure. i looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been <laughs> looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? No. Again. No. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely oh, refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? What? Uh, quite enough or two. Not right this minute, no. Please, oh, no. A remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking. I'm fucking straight edge. I don't need a third oh, thing oh, to bother Nastas, me. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still, my heart is pure, <laughs> and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh. 
Lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding. Both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochinay. Let's go. Thank I know you. a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. Fantastic. Let's go. <laughs> Simply marvelous. Hello, sir. Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. Oh, I'm sorry, um, did I take your let's horse? Hurry. Stay close. <laughs> so, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderland? You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized yeah. mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation that... Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Fairies? Great waves of euphoria. <sighs> but anyway, yes, uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang. Buffalo! I wouldn't try to read too much into it. Stop it's killing him. to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, Buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on it's earth true. are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Wrong. These trees are quite foreboding, Nastas. Are, are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. It's this way, mister. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Master. Forever Do alone. Do it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect. Holy shit, that's a bear behind us. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. That's a bear. Talk me through this primal emotion where it's coming. Is that akin to Easy. some kind of battle cry, Mr. Martin? Don't worry about it, Professor. That bear. You may live for now. But I know what they can do. Oh my god! Come on! Oh my god! No, I must capture one. If I'm gonna have any horse, it's gonna be the blackest of all black horses. And I shall call him the Dark Knight. There's the cliff. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. Great. Can I kill him now? Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, yeah, you certainly uh, are. I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. You're Thanks probably high help. right now. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Come Doubt on. It. I see a spot where we can climb up. Stop talking like that. Ugh. I got you, buddy. Oh, that's teamwork. All right, just a f the big mountain left. Oh, 
Oh. Damn. Damn. <laughs> See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Don't die. Let me get my gun out because I know dangers lurk. What? Look at this upper body strength. I hear stuff. Get away from me, nature. It's a rabbit and a, and a skunk and a beaver. Nature. So gentle. I think there's a path through this cave. Good. This should save us some time. I hope so. What are you doing, mister? I'm being cautious. What are you doing? That's TNT. Get me away from that, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Dead end. This way. There is no other way. <laughs> oh, quick draw. You'll be all right. Toughen up. Explosives! Holy crap! Jesus! I'm alive, though. That's what matters. Watch it. I'm mad at you. I'm hurt pretty bad. Really? I don't think you should go any further. I'll it's be a flesh fine. wound. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go Mountain lions can and smell and blood. Luck. I heard you. I'm a mountain climber. Let's go, Marston. You're elegant. Stop being paranoid. Okay, see? See? You hear that, Marston? There's a bear. We're gonna need more than just this. We're gonna need a shotgun. 